Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, math friends. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today, we're going to be going over the language of fractions. What is a fraction? Well, any part of a whole. It, but when you divide something into equal pieces, each piece is a fraction of the whole thing. Let's look at that. Here, I have divided the pizza into equal pieces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces. Then we have to talk about numerator and denominator. Fractions are written as one number on top of another. For example, a half is written as one on top of two, like this right here. Let's take a look at it with our pizza. So we have our pizza divided up, that whole piece, this pizza is into fourths, and we have one fourth right here. So the numerator is the top number. How many parts you're interested in right here is one. This is the number of pieces of the whole, or how many parts to the whole. To help you remember, let's look at this. Numerator is up. See how I have that U there and up? And denominator is down. So D is down. So the down number is the denominator and the up number is the numerator. A proper fraction is where fractions are smaller than one. So for example, I have one, two, three pieces out of this whole covered. Let's say we ate those three pieces. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So five eighths of a whole pizza is not shaded in or not eaten. Improper fractions are fractions that are bigger than one. If you notice, I have this whole pizza divided into fours, and then I have this half pizza, and it's also divided into fours. So if I add these together, I have one, two, three, four, five, six fourths of pizza remaining. A mixed number, mixed numbers are bigger than one. A mixed number is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. For example, let's take a look at these pizzas here. We have one pizza, two pizzas, and a quarter or a fourth of a pizza. We can write this as a mixed number where it is two and one fourth pizza left over from the party we had last night. Let's take a look at equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions have the same value. Look at these pizzas. I have this pizza here, which is divided into four pieces, but I have one fourth of it covered. This pizza is divided into eighths, and I have one two eighths covered, but it's still equal to one fourth. And then likewise here, where I have this pizza divided into sixteenths. I have one, two, three, four, sixteenths. Again, it's shaded by that one fourth. They're equivalent. I show equivalency down here. One fourth is equal to two eighths, which is equal to four sixteenths. How did I get all that? Well, let's take a look. So one fourth is equal to this two eighths divided by two over two. Two over two, that's equal to one. So we're just dividing by one but we get the same number. Same here for the sixteenths. One fourth or one quarter is equal to four sixteenths divided by four over four. But we can also use multiplication to verify. So two eighths right here is equal to one fourth times two over two. And four sixteenths is equal to one fourth times four over four. But wait, look at this here. So two eighths times two over two is equal to four sixteenths as well. So there's many different ways to verify answers, to verify, um, go back and forth between the equivalent fractions. Reducing or simplifying fractions. So to simplify a fraction, you have to divide the numerator and the denominator by the largest number that divides into both exactly. So the value of the fraction stays the same. For example, if I have 27 40 fifths, I'm looking at that, I'm like, well, wait a minute, I can divide both the top and the bottom by nine. So 27 divided by nine is equal to three, and 45 divided by nine is equal to five. Now, what if I had something a little bit larger? Yes, I can still do this. So 55 over 121, so 55 120 first divided by 11 over 11. How did I know that? Well, I'm looking at this, I'm going, okay, this is a factor for 
both of these numbers. What's a factor? Here's a factor. So we're looking for a common factor. So a factor is a number that divides into another number exactly. So for example, look at all these pizzas. I have this one divided in half, this one in fourths, this one in eighths, and this one in sixteenths. But for each, it's the same amount that's shaded. And I can look here, I can say the factors of two are one and two. So here we go, I have one and one, or two. Factors of four are one, two, and four. The factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. And the factors of 16 are one, two, four, eight, and 16. So there's some commonality between all of these right here, but let's take a look at this a little bit differently. So I want to work on this with these two pizzas here, fourths and the sixteenths. Let's break it down. But first, let's look at these numbers. So I'm looking at the sixteenths, so I know in the fourths. So one, two, and four, and I'm like, wait a minute, I have one, two, and four here, and one, two, and four here. So what I can do is I can look at four here, and the four, and I know that two and two make up that four. So I have that two and four there. And then I can look at 16 as well. So 16, I can branch it down here, and I know two times eight is equal to 16, so I'm breaking it down. Break down even further, get that 8 down even further. That's going to be 2 times 4. And then that 4 goes down to 2 and 2. So again, there's my four, 2 and 4 right here, and 2 and 4 right here. See there? So those are going to be my common factors between 4 and 16. Until next time, this is Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, to be a mathematician, all you have to be is a person that does math.